Look at this, guys. Oh my god, Manas. What are you? What are you? He's Omni Man. He's Omni Man. PvP. PvP. It's Omni Man. Ah, he got his ass. Now you. Come here, you anime girl piece of. No. Bald guy. Brown. Fucking brown. What? No, no, not me. Not me. Oh, this. <laughs> get, get the, <laughs> got his ass! Get the anime girl! Get anime yeah! Girl. <laughs> we gotta yeah. run! We gotta <laughs> run! <laughs> uh, kill the sheep! Kill the sheep! Okay, okay, okay. It fine, took fine, so fine. long so. to get here, it's almost night time. <laughs> hey, because it's everyone's like here. Like almost uh, everyone's uh, here. Uh, we're missing Zex and Lad. I know we're missing people, but. Now, so for this server, uh, we'll be. Why do I explain the rules? I actually screwed the rules. Oh man. Oh, China. Uh oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start. <laughs> Get destroyed. <laughs> oh man. Good job, boys. Good intro. Alright, so. Now that we're actually alone, I guess the first order of business would be to find. A place to live and maybe get some food before I die because this could be a massive problem if I don't so what I can explain that top couldn't is that the premise of the server is we all get to live on this this continent a bit similarly to her hermitcraft season 7 uh, I mean 8 we all get to live on on this continent because uh, technically there was actually a server before this one that didn't work out for the simple fact that everyone ended up living too far away so we've imposed a limit as to how far you can actually go we've reset the server and that's what we're doing now we should find a place to base and settle down I don't actually have many plans for this this world but uh, we, we shall see where the world takes us so there is actually a mushroom island somewhere around the outskirts of this uh, of this continent which I want to find because I'd like to base near it so I can be as close as possible to the main central like it's not central but that's probably where people are going to gather the most given that's the area we've designated for shops it's a no-brainer no mob spawn there and you know if it's there we might as well make use of it right so I'd like to live somewhere near there, but that involves finding it first, and I do believe it's on the opposite end of the island, actually. So it'll take a bit, but uh, I'll make my way there. Hopefully, avoid starvation. Yo, I found mana. It's round. It's round now. It's round. What? What? Why? What? Why? Why? It's round. Why? 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 I guess I'll just locate the Mushroom Island. So that's the spawn village. Have I really? I've gone in a circle. Nice. Nice. Ruben, like, where is everyone? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Zex. <laughs> Hi, Zex. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yo, do you got something coming out your chest there, buddy. Where are you? Yeah. I'm killing animals. It's a bugs. Yeah, it's going, uh, it's going out your chest, dude. Uh, I don't think no, that's I'm very healthy, but... Alright, so, that that was absolutely no help to my goal of getting directions, but I did get food from Ruben, so that's nice. But I have discovered, or come to the realization, that it's likely that way and not that way, because uh, that's a different direction, that's uh, not it, Chief. So I am coming upon the end of the continent, and there's still no Mushroom Island, so obviously I've taken a wrong turn somewhere unless it's over that way because that's a different island that island isn't necessarily off limits to my knowledge but uh, yeah I'll try not to settle on outer islands because I think that's pretty lame and I do still want to stay relatively close to others so I can have some sort of collaboration during this whole season because I don't like working much uh, my work ethics really low like I'm a very lazy person so if I can just find a bunch of diamonds and pay people to do my work for me, I would probably do that. Still can't find the Mushroom Island. Current objective is to find the cave. Alright, so we found a cave. 
and hopefully it's not too deep this copper and yeah it looks like it's pretty deep oh yeah okay and why did that scare me as much as it did this came out came out like batman jeez all right so the here's a ravine this is interesting there's a ravine and a mine shaft uh i found it completely by accident but it does look like i could have just looked down from here uh yeah not not the most observant person but i might actually risk going down there i'm not quite sure but i might want to uh yeah actually i think i do because because the mine mine shafts have lots of good loot and i can probably find i can probably find diamonds as well so it's it's good to explore that i'm just going to put my stuff in here and make myself a bed in case i die yeah this is a really good find and all right, respawn point set, one. I only need three iron. So let's just wait for this to cook. And uh, after that, I'll cook my food and then I'll go down. Now that all that's done, I shall begin my descent. This is a very dangerous journey down, but no doubt it's gonna be worth it. So yeah, let's, let's get this over with. So that is lava. That's, that's not very healthy to dip into. The forbidden orange juice is very hot and very deadly to humans, in case you don't know. Um, that is a spider, so that is a spider spawner! Yep, this ain't good. Okay, please don't. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. There we go, boys. I mean, I got some copper for my troubles, but where's my sword? Unlike, unlike in Java Edition, we don't get uh, bonuses from hitting mobs with an axe. So this is really bad. There was nowhere I could go as well. We might as well mine this. That probably could have been a good source of... Uh... Oh boy! Hi, hello! Hey! Uh, that probably could have been a good source of string, but uh, we'll never know. Yeah, I still can't find my sword. Man, there, oh, man, there was no way I could react to, to that creeper. I was surrounded on all sides. I mean, I crouched as if I had a shield, which arguably wasn't my best decision, but, but what else could I have done, really? Man, that sucks. All right, I guess I, guess I should make a shield as well. That would probably be very useful. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh boy. Hey, buddy. Hello, motherfucker. Oh yeah, I do have a, a, a spare sword. I forgot, I accidentally made one at the start. But yeah, here's a shield. I'm going to equip that and uh, back. <gasps> oh, I forgot. And back down we go. One thing that's cool about the raw iron that we get now. I mean, personally, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the texture, but I don't mind it. I'm... It's not gameplay changing, so I don't really care. Oh, one thing I've noticed that's really cool about the iron chunks is that now fortune works on it. So, I mean, iron farms are still going to be really useful, obviously, because you don't want to go down into the mines every time you need iron. But I'm just saying, it makes, it makes resource gathering a lot easier, especially later on when you're strip mining for diamonds. You come across a lot of iron that usually just comes out as one. But yeah, it's it's good now. Uh, the raw iron, the raw gold, it's pretty cool. Oh, hi, hey, hello. I don't want any of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there's Soham, and there he goes. I'm going to get lost. Mark my words. Something's going to happen, that's a zombie. Hey bud, this might be connected to Manas' game as well, which will be interesting to see if it is. Wait a second, that's, that's... Whoa, hey! Hi, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting jumped, I'm dead. Oh gosh. Okay, that's cursed. And I'm, I'm heading up. I, I'm done with this cave. Oh boy. Oh, Diamondos! Hell yeah! 
pumpkin seeds, yes. Oh, this is brilliant. All right, so now that we're back up on the surface, the first order of business that I want to get down to is to actually find a place to live. Because time is running out. And things aren't going too well. All right, so I did just ask where they lived. And unfortunately, I had caps lock on, so I guess everyone's screaming now and saying their actual addresses, so you're not actually gonna be able to see what they're saying. But some of them are actually yelling back their answers, and yeah, kind of an accident. But at least now I know where they live in real life, so that's pretty funny. It's Manas again! Hey! Punjab! Oh, look at that axolotl! Oh, wait. Did he, did he just give... Huh? Did, did, he just, did he just give me this and dip? What's the... Nice! Alright. I guess I guess now we continue on our merry way. So he is going over that way. Uh, I might just... It's a shiny? Okay, there's another guy. Oh, it's gold. Yeah, it is shiny. Alright. Hell yeah, shiny Pokemon. It's Zex, alright. So, it looks like Zex is also basing around here, around the village, so I am actually back <laughs> where I started. But yeah, this looks like a good place as any to base, really. Uh, most of the community is gonna be here, and yeah, it's a bit far from where we plan to make the shopping district, but I guess I guess that's a trade-off, really. There's, there's not much we can do. So there's a dark oak forest over there. I'm gonna head over that way. Because, well, yeah, because I want some dark oak for for my house, and I'm going to use deep slate and some other 1.17 blocks. All right, resources have been sufficiently gathered. This looks like a good spot. I mean, everyone's here. Now I guess we'll just see how things go. So maybe, maybe, uh, okay, depending on the size of this sort of thing, I might make something that extends inside it so I'm gonna need more oak for sure but this is likely gonna be the extent of it so it's about here goes all the way over here yep there's there's kegs this is the extent of it really I'll be working on it off screen I have a bad habit of working on things off screen but I will so next time this uh, comes around, you should see some more progress and hope you look forward to that. Yeah, next, next episode is likely going to be on resource gathering, both for the house and uh, so we can get things started. I'm definitely going to start a farm as soon as I physically can. Because food, always a problem. So yeah, this is what we've got so far. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.